CD as we join the choir in singing the entrance hymn. sisters and brothers Good and thank you for taking time to be with the Lord on this first Friday of September we bow our heads and pray and say to the Lord again thank you Lord Lord Salamat Salamat we ask for forgiveness from the Lord for all our sins and shortcomings Patawat, Patawat. and we ask the help of the Lord for whatever we're going to, Lord, patulong, patulong. In humility, we ask the Lord, as we look into our hearts, we ask for forgiveness, and we forgive people who have hurt us, pray for people we may have hurt in any way, and finally forgive yourself because you are so loved by God. As we pray, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God bless us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Let us now include our personal thanksgiving, personal requests and intentions in this Mass. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by de deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. 
Come with joy to the presence of the Lord. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with a joyful song. Come with joy to the presence of the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. He made us his we are, his people, the flock he tends. Come with joy to the presence of the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Come with joy to the presence of the Lord. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Come with joy to the presence of the Lord. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. and the Pharisees said to Jesus, the disciples of John, John the Baptist, fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same. But yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told him a parable, no one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the piece of it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins. And no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, who says, the old is good. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, thank you for taking time to be with the Lord. The Lord appreciates every little time you give him and today we thank the Lord you know one of the greatest blessings we have is the fact that we are still alive please tell the person beside you I'm happy you're here happy you're still alive happy we're together September already yes. and please remember be grateful to God gratitude is the best attitude and our attitude should, that be, should be that we are blessed. Believe that you are blessed. You'll have more blessings than problems. God has been good. Papalat to tayo. Please tell the person beside you, Boy, malapat ay mapalat tayo. Good. I'm happy many of you smile. I know your work is very toxic. But see, God is in control. <clears throat> and we need God. I'm reminded of a story about a, a priest who visited a sick patient, you know, called Jin. And, and then the priest said, Sigipo, I'll pray over you. And the patient said, Oh, Shige, oh, Shige. Opo, Sigipo, I'll pray over you. And the patient said, Oh, Shige, oh, Shige. And he kept praying, he was so encouraged, praying long. And the patient kept saying, Oh, Shige, oh, Shige, turning red. You know what happened, Pala? He was stepping on the hose of the oxygen. And he was saying, Oh, Shige, oh, Shige, oxygen, oxygen. 
see what happens if you don't have the breath of life from God. Eh? So, sisters and brothers, may I remind you today of our greatest treasures. Fight. Check how much you treasure these. Family. Don't we all treasure family? Friends. Yes, friends. They're real treasures. Your work is a treasure. Your achievements. Health is a treasure. And God is our treasure. So we are rich. But you see, what happens many times is we, we forget God. Sometimes it's in the least of our list. We treasure our family more than God. We treasure our friends more than God. We treasure our work, our achievements more than God. Our health more than God. Let's put God as the greatest treasure. You know why? Family, family is not your God. No matter how much you love them, how much they love you, you can never own them. People come and go. Relationships fail. We have to say goodbye. What remains? It's God. So put God in your family. Friends, we don't need many friends. We only need a few friends. Friends come and go. Put God into your friendships. Easy there. Your work, your achievements, don't make your work your God. Put God in your work. And finally, your health? Yeah. When you get sick, whatever, let God be there. So that's my proposal. Treasure your treasures, but make God your greatest treasure. One of the things I always hold on to is Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. Your problems are not God. Don't make your problems your God. The Lord tells you, I am God. I am in control. I know the solutions. So just hold on to me. Your loved ones are not God. Somebody, a wife said, Father, magpapakapanan tayo na lang ako. Naglolo ko yung mister ko. Huh? Excuse me. You know, some of us may be faulted when you come at the end of your life. You know what? You made your husband your God. I am God. They belong to you, to God more than to you. You must have that picture. Your work, your achievements, your money, your possessions. Everything can go in an instant. Be still and know that I am God. I am in control and I love you. It's a beautiful message for all of us to remember. Everything is passing in this life. And I suggest you, you have been so blessed by God. Even material. Two things don't forget, please. Don't forget quality time. Paneka quantity mode. More money, more earnings, more and more, more accolades. No. Quantity. Quality. Some of us so busy making money, maybe we should be busy making good memories. Please don't forget that. Huh? And number two, payback time. Don't be on the hoarding mode all the time. It never ends because somewhere along the way you say, no, I want to pay back my God. I want to pay back this country. I want to pay back for the poor. If you don't go into that mode, you'll always be selfish, miserable. Marami kasi sa ating selfie. It's all about me, my God, myself, my God. And God is not even in the picture. You know, I, dati po, I, I know yung food, bless yan bago kainin eh. Ngayon, pinipicturean na pala. I don't know why you do this. So it's all about me, what I ate, etc. It's let's go beyond the selfie. And speaking of generosity, God has been good to you. Christmas just around the corner. Anyway, uh, you have some assignment. This early, start disposing, deleting your cell phone. If it's so full, you have to delete, dispose. 
Number one, what's in the heart? Sins of the heart, hatred, envy, anger, resentments, and timidity of heart. I suppose then, I was driving through Balete Drive once and I saw this Tahong Grasa. And it was Makakalkal ng Basura, putting all this in the, and you know, burden dragging the sako sako. I said to myself, crazy. And you know what the Lord said? Jerry, that's the picture of many of you going through life, carrying so much trash. Walang kakwenta kwenta. That hatred, that unforgiveness, the worries, dispose them, delete. Be good to yourself. And this early, maybe you can start preparing something for the poor for Christmas. Kaya pong bahala dun? Alam mo na Oh, why didn't you look at your cabinet one time this weekend? Dami mga damit, mga sapatos, kung ano ano. Di mo ginagamit, palagi mo sinasabi yan, gagamitin ko yan kung papayat na ako yan. <laughs> papayat, pamigyan mo na. Something like that. Speaking of generosity, I heard this story about this guy, even generosity to God, di tumaan yung collection. Dali-dali, naglagay siya ng 10 pesos para hindi makita. Pinasa niya agad. Just then, the, back, the guy at the back tapped him. May inaabot na 1,000. That's why hiyang-hiya siya. Nilagay niya, siyempre. Oh my God, 10 pesos, 1,000. And the guy at the back tapped him again and said, Sir, excuse me po. Yun yung 1,000 kanina, nahulog yan sa bulsa niyo. <laughs> Force to good. <laughs> Be generous. God has been generous to you. Sisters and brothers, God is good. God is loving. God is merciful. We have a mission. We have a final destination. Please don't forget our final destination is to go to heaven. I keep repeating this. The most important journey in this life is not your financial journey, your popularity journey, yung lagging in Osman. Yung mga power journey mo, position journey, beauty journey. Ilang beses ka na nagbalik-balik sa mga kilapelo, gano'n. The more important thing, the most important journey is your journey to God's heart. Sana you're coming closer to God. Your problem, your sickness, if it brings you closer to God, okay na yun. You experience persecution. If that brings you closer to God, okay, I'm, I'm closer to God. And please don't forget, uh, for, forget our final, final journey is to go to heaven. Excuse me lang ho. Medyo pinahan mo nga ng tingin ng katabi mo. Sa palagi mo kaya makakakyat sa langit yan. Anong pakiramdam mo? I hope so. Opo. Siyempre, no. So, as an act of faith, let's make a promise to see each other in heaven someday. Amen? Amen. Please shake hands and tell one another, see you in heaven. Promise, huh? Promise, I promise. No, not gonna. <laughs> no. Not so soon. Not so soon, kasi mayroon ka pang mission. Please ask God, more and more, Lord, ano po ba talaga ang mission ko pa that you want me to do? And it's not all about me. That life is not all about us. Put God your greatest treasure. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything will be added unto you. Amen. Somebody just gave you something from the back? <laughs> 1,000? I don't know. Ah, your eyeglasses fell down. <laughs> Okay, good. Please bow your heads and may I invite you to put your right hand over your heart today on this first Friday, the sacred time. Let the Lord bless you and embrace your heart. You are loved by God and God has a wonderful plan. May God bless all the people in our hearts, Lord especially our loved ones. Take care of them. 
Sorry, Lord, for the times we deserve it, Lord. Help me not to postpone my loving and my conversion back to you. You know the problems in my heart. Jesus, I trust in you and Mama Mary, I love you. You know my sins. Oh God, you are God of mercy and compassion. I trust in you. And this moment of quiet, you tell the Lord and tell Mama Mary again your special thanksgiving, special request. Tell your love, your promise, special intentions. Greet our mother and pray to her especially to bless our beloved country, the Philippines, with good leaders, Lord. Pray for peace in the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Departed relatives and friends, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. And guardian angels to bless us always, protect us. Angel of God. Thank you, Nathaniel. And before we go on with the Mass, may I ask you to say. <coughs> A word of encouragement. We are all in a journey. You don't know what your brother, your sister is going through. So please tell one another, now, don't worry. Be happy. God <laughs> loves you. And Mama Mary loves you. <laughs> so let us all rise as we pray. Father, to bring us closer to the values of the gospel, to renew the church and the world, and our response, renew us, O oh Lord. Renew us, O oh Lord. <coughs> that the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today, the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O oh Lord that we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Pray for us, O Lord. That we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. Let us pray to the Lord. Pray for us, O Lord. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick, by showing them love and concern, let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. Lord, listen to all our prayers which we offer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, to your goodness, we have this point. 
fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become Lord, our spirit and drink. Blessed be God forever. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice, our thanksgiving may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, may this sacrifice we offer confer on us always the blessings of salvation that what it celebrates in mystery. It may accomplish in power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And before we go on, I'd like to greet all of you now. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's fast. Thank you, Lord. And uh, the Eucharist is like Christmas. Exchange gifts. The Lord gives us His love as we give Him our love too. So it uh, would be good also, before we go on, we don't get to do this often, Will you please say something good, something nice to the people around you? Like, thank you, take care, kaiyan, keep up the good work, and then put in, let you not back in, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, we can never, never thank you enough. Although you have no need of our praise, our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ the Lord. So in the company of the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, he gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, to be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. And this in memory of God.
mystery of faith. <clears throat> and pride. 
and grant us peace, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. So I wish you all to live more peaceful lives. That's all. So not peaceful, mas peaceful ang buhay mo. I mean, what's the use of more money and power if there's no peace in your heart, there's no peace in your family, in your work? Peaceful life. Go for that. Number two, that you become instruments of peace. Stop hurting people, please. Life is hard enough. Don't make life harder for other people. And number three, my wish for all of us, may you rest in peace. <laughs> At night, you know, when you rest, you're at peace with God, you're at peace with the world, and at peace with yourself. So let's give one another this blessing of peace. God bless you, Mama Mary loves you, and peace be with you. Give that blessing to one another. Peace. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Now, of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Bow your hands and pray. The Lord is here. Open your heart, heart to heart, with the Lord. That's what true prayer is. This moment, whoever you are, whoever you think you are, whatever you've been, Whatever you're going through, in your heart of hearts, just tell the Lord, Lord Jesus, I love you. I'm sorry for all my sins. Lord Jesus, help me. Help us. Heal me. Heal us. Stay with us, Lord. We need you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Suggest that you receive communion with a smile. Siguro daming nagkukunyon, tatapang ng mukha. Happy are we, or called to the Bible at the Talang.
Transportation to and from Manila Plaza Miranda, Quiapo, Manila, to volunteers and priests. Cash support for packed food, 90 pesos each, for 50 homeless children, uh, children, beggars, and elderly. Deadline for confirmation of participation is set on the 18th of September. It is our dream to make this outreach activity at least once a month, to be able to provide catechism, spiritual nourishment as well as feeding program for the poor on a regular basis in order to uplift the lives of the poor in Quiapo. Please call up Donna at 6090 and Edith at 5995 for more information. Um, everyone is invited to come and join us as we prepare and go to Cebu to experience the 51st International Eucharistic Congress which by God's providence is set to be held in the Philippines from the 24th to the 31st of January, 2016. A Eucharistic Congress is a gathering of people all over the world aimed at promoting an awareness of the Eucharist in the life and mission of the Catholic Church. The first 20 people will be registered by our outreach group. If you're interested, please email or call Aga Diaz at 5188 for more information about the event. Deadline for registration is on the 15th of September. And finally, let us thank Father Jerry Orbus, who came all the way from Batangas to celebrate the Holy Mass. Thank you, everyone. In Batangas, uh, we have a mission center and we're preparing for a, a monastery. That's where I'm going. I'll start something like that a Marian sanctuary. So please pray for me. Well, um, in this connection, some of you will be interested. Number one, October, the first Saturday of October, I do a walk with God to Manawag. From Urdaneta, Pangasinan to Manawag, that's three hours. Start at five in the morning, we start walking, then the Mass will be at nine o'clock in the Manawag Shrine. So October. <clears throat> October 1 is my 62nd birthday, and we are having a <coughs> fundraising as well for the monastery, in case you're interested. It's a Crown Plaza. 5 p.m. mass, then dinner and concert. Uh, Jose Marichan will be there for us too. I'd like to thank uh, uh, Maine. Uh, Alden. Uh, Alden. <laughs> Alden. Here, Alden and your dad. <laughs> Happy birthday. You did your work very well and with so much joy. I didn't even know, but come to think of it, shouldn't we all be doing that? Give cheer, give a little joy, hope, a little smile. That's, that's what Christianity is all about. Most simple things. So I'd like you to, before anything else, could you please smile again to the person beside you? Yes, sincerely. It's the heart that matters in the end. Thank you. Please be careful with your heart. <laughs> Please rise now for the final blessing. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, you may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let's bow your heads in prayer. Again, tell the Lord, tell Mama Mary. With thanksgiving, special requests and intentions.
forget God loves you very much. God has a plan. God has a mission. And God has a final destination for all of us. Heaven. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Please remember too that a broken heart is an open heart. You who go to brokenness, sadness, your heart is very open to God. That's when God speaks also very well, deeply to each one of us when we experience brokenness. Sisters and brothers, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And please tell one another now, oh, my mission, kapa, God bless you and Mama Mary loves you. Thank you both very much.